Yes, unfortunately with the change of life and hormonal swings, autistic women are faced with bodily symptoms that may be new and unsettling. Things they used to take in their stride now use up more spoons than before and recovery takes longer. As we're the first diagnosed generation of menopausal females, we don't know what is aging and what is autism. There is mostly anecdotal evidence from Auti biographies. Little research is taking place on this, so I did a poll on the Audis and Menopause support group page. I will be revealing these results in Scotland soon. With a preliminary report delivered by Rachel Mosley of Bournemouth University's Psychology Research Centre. Other topics in my breakout session, Aging Disgracefully, will be a review of research on older autistic adults, financial self-sufficiency, housing, and supports with a focus on the future. Live tweeting will occur all day from Edinburgh. Sue Fletcher Wilson's plea after INSAR 2019 will be front and center. How does this help autistic people now or in the future?